Hello everybody, I'm Chris Provost and you're watching Provost Park Best and today I'm gonna do a hotel tour where I go and visit all these different hotels. You guys seem to like those videos, but I'm gonna show you the hotels that are located the very closest to Disneyland. We're talking just across the street. Let's review these hotels. Here we go. But before we get to that, I need to ask you a favor. Here's what I would like you to do because you're gonna watch this and maybe get some ideas of where you want to stay on vacation. As a way to say thank you, would you please subscribe to our YouTube channel? That's all I ask, hit the subscribe button and uh, it's just a big way to say thank you and let me know that you appreciate these videos. All right guys, let's get into it and let's start reviewing these hotels. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you the very first hotel I'm gonna do is called Camelot Inn and Suites. That is Disneyland, like right across the street. So every hotel they show you in this video, they are literally are right across the street from, uh, from Disney. You can get there within three or four minutes. But I do wanna say this, some of these cost a little bit more money to book, but you're paying for that because you're they're getting proximity. That's Disneyland. You walk across, it's like a minute, a minute to, to get across. So it's very fast, it's very convenient, but you pay for a little bit more to be so close. But if you have like toddlers and you wanna come take naps during the day, these are the hotels to check out. So this is the one we're gonna first one we look at. It's Camelot Inn and Suites. Let's do it. The exterior is much like, you know, kind of like the Renaissance. It's awesome. You've got the, it's called Merlin's Marketplace right over here. It looks like you are in Europe. So here I am in the lobby here at the Camelot. You can see it's kind of rusty. You got a good feel towards it. Like you look up the ceilings, the chandeliers, they look like candles. It is all done for like this European vibe. So here's a little exterior view. You got a little English tutor. And then you look down here, you can see perfectly, there is a swimming pool. We'll take a look at that here as well. As we walk down and take a look at all this amazingness this hotel has to offer. There is an outdoor swimming pool, you can see right there. It's very convenient and nice. It's up here on the fourth floor, right above the parking lot. You look at the swimming pool, you look all the way down to the parking lot down below. All right guys, let's take a look here at this amazing room. This is the most popular room they have here at Camelot and in suites, it is like this family suite. Check it out, you got a giant bed right there. This is a nice little sitting area. And this is a little couch and it pulls out. Ha 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 ha. Over here, massive credenza. You got like all your like little ice makers. What do you got in here? Got some drawers. What is this? How does this open up? Boom, there's a microwave. Everything you guys need over here. You've got your refrigerator, perfect. Moving over here, this opens up into, look at this family area. Two more queen size beds. Look how awesome this room is. I love the purple head mattress, the headboard <laughs> mattress. It is really good looking. You come right over here. It looks like a wall, like a cement, but that's just wallpaper. You got the same credenza with sakes over here. And this is gonna take us right here to the bathroom. Now the bathroom, massive mirror. Look how big that mirror is. It's absolutely massive. It's got lighting all the way around. You have your closets. You guys always like to look at the closets. Ironing board, iron, and then move right on in here. You have the bended bar shower. Look at this, it's amazing. Plus, I love that they have these little uh, bars in there. It's awesome. Look at that shower head. And then you have that if you happen to use that on, uh, on vacation. These are the most popular, this is the family suite, okay? You can sleep up to seven. Now, they do have small rooms. Just imagine a small room. It will look exactly like this right over here. You have a door right there, bam. You walk in two beds and that's it. This will be a room. So you get a small room. If you want a bigger room, this is really one to do. It's very convenient. So it's nice for larger families who want to be close to the park. All right, so we are right there at Camelot. Uh, and now we're gonna move to like, this is our sister property. It's owned by the same company. This is the Tropicana Inn and Suites. And this one is even closer to Disneyland. It's literally right there. That's it. Tropicana, Disneyland. Tropicana, Disneyland. Tropicana, Disneyland. Tropicana, Disneyland. In 2005, it's a long time ago it seems like, I remember I was with a neighbor, this is before like YouTube and all that stuff, and he was like trying to go to Disneyland, and I was, I was loving Disneyland. And I remember we got on his computer, and he's like, I wonder where I should stay at. And he literally pulled up a satellite map, and he looked at Disneyland, and he tried to find the closest hotel. The closest one he could find was the Tropicana, so he booked this vacation here. I remember I was so jealous, because I thought, that's so amazing. This hotel is awesome. It is very, very close. It's very, very close, like to Disneyland. You can, it's, we're talking 90 seconds or less to walk from their door to be right into Disneyland area. That is amazing. So let's go take a look at a room here at the Tropicana so you guys can see what a room looks like inside Tropicana. They also have a swimming pool as well right here. So here is the, this is the center courtyard for the Tropicana. It's a lot of parking area, of course, and then you have your, your it kind of is like you think of the letter U or maybe a horseshoe. That right there in the center is the swimming pool. 
So right here behind me is the swimming pool area. It's a nice swimming pool and they also have a hot tub. I have this thing and I don't know, I, there's, there's families in there swimming. So whenever families are in there swimming, I don't feel comfortable like videotaping a swimming pool. But just trust me, it's an amazing pool. So it's nice, it's a nice, to, uh, it's a nice to come place to cool off in the middle of the day. Just come right there and jump in the pool. All right, so let's check out this room. This is called the Queen Queen with a kitchenette. You look at two queen beds. This has got, because we're in Tropicana, we got a little more of a beach vibe. Check that out. Down here, you got a nice little, was that ottoman? And a little uh, foot, uh, I don't know what that is, a little table to put things on. Over here, you got a nice little bed over here. You got little amenities, place to put your suitcase. Coming right over here, let's take a look right here. This is a nice little kitchen. You guys love that, love to have these little kitchen areas. Perfect little areas right over here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And then over here, bended bar shower. Bended bar shower, absolutely love that. And look, you'll notice, I love that they have those rails and handles in it. Uh -huh. It's amazing. Nice there. This is, a, if you use that. You will also notice that the mirror is completely lit up, so you get a lot of light in the mirror, which is awesome and really great. And they give you bath soap over here, and then you also have soap over there in the bathroom. This room also has something kind of special here. I'm gonna walk right in here. You'll notice that this has a little kitchenette, a little kitchenette area right here. It's got your uh, uh, stove over there, sink over there, dishwasher, everything you need. So you can actually rent this out and have it to a nice little table. And so a nice little area for you to relax with the family if you want. This is the queen queen with the kitchenette. Now you don't have to rent the, like that area of the kitchenette. You can actually 100% just rent this room like as a standard room, whatever. So close, so convenient to uh, Disneyland. I'm gonna go to the next one. It's the best West of Plus. I think this is the closest hotel to Disneyland, except for the Grand California, California Grand, whatever you like to call it. This is the Best Western Plus. It's the Park Place Inn and Mini Suites. Best Western Plus, Park Place Inn and Mini Suites. How close is it? That is the street light you walk across. That is Disneyland. The only hotel that's even closer than this one, that's the uh, California Grand, the Grand Californian. That one's on property. The Disneyland Hotel technically is on property, but it's about, it's about the same walking distance. In fact, this one might be even a little bit shorter. It is super close and it's very convenient. So let's go take a look at the rooms here as we move on in. All right, so this is the lobby. This is awesome. We're like wave and say hi, because this is awesome. You can rent your scooters right here. Super convenient. It's very nice here. Awesome. And you don't have to leave the scooters. You bring them here and back. They also, this is brand new. You guys, they have a brand new barista, and this is open 24 hours. It's complimentary. You got latte, cappuccino, you get hot chocolate, hot water, you get espresso. By the way, did you hear about the cup of coffee? Did you hear what happened to him? Yeah, he got mugged. <laughs> okay. And right over here, they have a, a, a little mini mart, and that mini mart is open 24 hours a day. It's 24 hours a day, right? Yeah. Which is awesome, because then if you, if you always want to grab something, you're late and you're tired, you come in, boom, grab something. Now let's go check out a room. So I'm going to walk us to the room so we can check out this room here. I just want to tell you that there's a company, there's Stovall's, Best Western Stovall's in. It's kind of down the block and around a corner. It's owned by the same company, has the exact same floor layout as this particular hotel, like identical, but it's a little less expensive because it's not quite so close. Because keep in mind, these hotels I'm showing you are probably the most convenient hotels you have here in Anaheim, but they put, there's a little bit more. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Chris, well, how do I book this? It's simple. You're gonna call 1-855-GETAWAY. That's 1-855-GETAWAY. And when you talk to them, be sure to tell them Provost Park Pass sent you, and you'll get the best rate that you can get on the, any of these hotels that we're showing you today. You get the very best rates on it. It's awesome. Or if you want, you click the link down below, and that will also get you the best rates on these amazing hotels. So either way, if you want to click, call, whatever, it's fine. But you will get the best rates. All right, so this is a standard room we're taking a look at here. You'll notice you got a nice little like breakfast table there. You got your bed there, your second bed there. And you'll notice that these, this hotel is a little bit older, so it's a little bit deeper. Newer hotels aren't quite as long like this way. Nice little writing desk, credenza, the mirror right over there. You got your fridge, your microwave, and your closet. You guys love the closets. I love it how you guys like comments about closets. You'll notice that these closets also close when they close. They are a mirror. Hello, hi hand, how are you? Then right over here, you're gonna look into the uh, bathroom. This is the bathroom right over here. This is if you ever use that. And then right over here, you have your uh, uh, body wash and bended bar shower bar with your little uh, shower head right there. Love that. Over here, you'll notice very long, very, very long, uh, uh, what is that? Vanity desk, whatever, very long. Big mirror, lights up like that. Sink, you got a single sink. 
And you have lots of areas right there to put your luggage underneath right there. Absolutely wonderful. All right, so let's go see another room. Now, before you show you the next room, you see right down below, we have a nice little pool area. The pool area here is very nice because it is shaded. It, it's it kind of in a little alcove of those buildings, so it's a little shaded area. So you come here, swim, and be in shade, which is nice. Now, let's go check out the second room. All right, let's check this one out. This is called the mini suite. Mini suite! Why do they call it a mini suite? It technically doesn't have a full wall there, but they have a little divider. This couch pulls out, so ba -dum, ba dum And then you have these nice little beds right over here. You see how sweet that they are, they're awesome. And then if you look right over here, you've got your little writing desk, your credenza, you've got your microwave, you've got your uh, fridge. Then, I mean, look at these. I just, I love it when they put lots of plugs by the side of the bed. That's just really cool to me. Then you go over here, nice little like artwork. And then you've got a little area like there, a little place to put your suitcase or sit down. And then your uh, your mirrors, I said, your closet. You guys love closets. I never even thought about showing closets until you guys were like, Chris, you need to show the closets. And now it's like one of the first things I look for when I come into a hotel room. I think that's just really cool. You guys have trained me on that. Also here, you'll notice that this is the, the uh, it's not quite as long as their one, but a nice little, it's a single sink right over there, bar of soap, nice little coffee maker over there. And then over here, you've got your, Ba -ba -ba -ba. shower right over there, shower head, bended bar, and then I don't know if you ever even use that. So very nice, this is called the mini suite. It gives you a little more separation, has a little more people, so if you need a little more people to sleep here, you can just pull that right out and use that as an extra bed. This is literally the exit, you guys. You walk right there and what do you see? Disneyland right there. This is the closest you can get without being an on-property hotel. Something very interesting over here about this Best Western is they don't have like a breakfast restaurant, but they do have this little restaurant right across and they work at that restaurant in special rooms. They, their restaurants, they say they serve them faster than everybody. So a lot of people are worried about rope drop here at this hotel. That's one of the biggest concerns because they're so close, they're like a rope drop. Their breakfasts are going, they're flying out super, super fast. They are egg-cellent. <laughs> and it's included with your hotel stay. And so walking down to the next hotel, when you're planning your vacation, you want to find out what's most important to you. Do you want luxury? Do you want convenience? Do you want like kid friendly? Those are the types of things that you want to be thinking about when you're booking your vacation, your hotel, because it'll make a difference in what type of hotel that you're staying at. So I walked down just a little bit, not too far. We're still I mean, very close to this end. And we're looking at this next hotel, which is, we're gonna take a look here at the Best Western Plus Anaheim Inn. This is the same company, Best Western that we just looked at last one. But this is called the Best Western Plus Anaheim Inn. Let's take a look at it. We're gonna walk right in here and go right into the lobby. Here I am in the lobby. I wanna show you something really cool though. They just also have a new, this barista and it's right here. It's 24 hours. Coffee, hot chocolate, cappuccinos, lattes, whatever. You know, it's right there. It's so nice. I already did the, the mug joke. I'm not gonna do it again, but I'm so tempted I wanna do another coffee joke. If For those, for those of you who are single, maybe you're looking for a little brewmance. Hey! Whatever. So that's the lobby. They're gonna. I'm gonna take you, show you the room here, and also show you their breakfast. Hey, breakfast is included. It's awesome. So let's go check them out. All right. So right now, I am in the breakfast area. This area here is designed for people because people are staying in this hotel. What do they want? They want to get to the park. Boom! Pow! Fast. There's a lot of tables here for them to sit at. You see right here. There's also like a nice little area there, outdoor seating. I'm gonna show you how fast breakfast can be. And one nice thing here is if you notice some breakfast, they have this outdoor breakfast. It overlooks Disneyland. Now I wanna show you something really interesting here. This is designed for speed. All the offerings they have here are grab and go. They got scrambled eggs, they got a pork uh, sausage, egg chorizo, waffles, potatoes, breakfast sandwiches. They've got milk, they got cereal, they got oatmeal. This is all grab and go. You'll notice that they don't have like the waffle makers where you make your own waffles or the pancake makers. They do have them, they bring them out over here, but it's not, they, they wanna go for speed because people don't want, but you have a long family coming here and they're trying to make all their waffles, it takes a long time. And so they're just like, hey, we'll make the waffles for you. We'll have the waffles here, so you just grab them. And the pancakes will also grab them, and cereal. Which reminds me, what do you get if you combine a pancake and a snowman? Frosty flakes? <laughs> what? Which kind of reminds me, what do you get if you mix like pancake syrup and a snowman? Maybe frosty flakes? <laughs> so bad. I don't know. It's a horrible offering. All right, let's go check out a room. I'm sorry. I actually am going to apologize for that last one. Really bad. Here we go. They also have like a gym. You guys come here. You go exercise, get your fitness on and exercise if you are so inclined, which is awesome. Nice. 
I'm gonna walk down this hallway because I, I, I want to show you guys the pool. I think we can see the pool from over here. Let's take a look here. Oh, perfect. Okay, I love that. There's no families in there. You can take a look, show the pool all that I want. This is a nice little pool area here. It's excellent. You'll notice that the building here provides a little bit of shade down there. We got the, the hot tub down there. We got the hot tub crew. Yay! Hi! They're getting all clean and ready to go. And that is the swimming pool. It is, it is awesome. So I love it that we can show the swimming pool. All right, so let's take a look here at this room. This is awesome little room. You'll notice that when you come in here, you got this, they're decorated, they're beautiful. Nice little breakfast table right over here. You're gonna come right over here. You're gonna see you do have, I really do appreciate the fact they have desks like this. I do, because if I have like a laptop or if you need a little bit of work, I always think it's very nice. You have your nice little table right over here. Well, I mean, not a table, but uh, drawers. Let's open this up and see what we got. Oh, there's your microwave. And then you have your fridge right down there. Then right over here, you've got your other bed. Da, 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 da. I like this little tree. So coming right over here, we're gonna take a look. This is your closet. Your closet is, I think they call this an armoire, don't they? Or when they when it's outside and not built in a wall. I'm not exactly sure on that. So coming over here, you might be able to hear that sound a little bit. That is the air conditioning. It's gonna just keep this room very cold. There you go, there's a nice little mirror over there. Hi, hi mirror, hi hand. Okay, look over here, they got a nice little coffee maker and then your mirror right over here. You'll notice that underneath this here, they do have shelvings, a little bit of shelving over here. And there is your sink. It's a single sink, well lit up. And you come in here and what do you have? Bended bar shower. Oh, they actually have, you see that? They have little windows in there. I love it when they do that because then you, they open up and get a little bit of ventilation. I think that's really great. And then right over there, you got your showers. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Excellent. I need to ask a favor for you guys. I need to know if you guys actually appreciate these. I gotta make sure that the door's closed. I don't want anybody, if you guys like these videos. I get, uh, if you find these videos helpful, maybe let's just type in, let's see, what can we type in? Let me think about that. Two things, if you find these videos helpful, just type, thank you. That's all I need here. That makes me, it helps me know, because sometimes I worry that people don't like these videos and other people I find families are like, this has been so helpful. I want it to be very helpful. And if you guys could do me a small little teeny tiny favor, if you really do like this video, can you hit, would you please subscribe to our channel? Just hit the subscribe button. It's free, it's an easy way to support our channel. It doesn't cost you anything. When you do that, it just helps me know. I'm like, oh, if people like this content, it helps our channel keep growing. All right, guys, let's continue on. I got more hotels to show you. The next hotel I want to take a look at is the Grand Legacy at the Park. It is the farthest hotel away on this street, but still not very far. We haven't crossed a light over. Because where is Disney? Right there, right across the street. So, and this one has got a lot of fun. It's got like the fifth, it's like a little like nightclub with DJs and dancing up there. And people go up there to watch fireworks. Grand Legacy at the park. Let's go check it out. Here we are, the fifth rooftop restaurant and bar, Grand Legacy at the park. There's a bunch of little shops there. Moochie Donut Cafe, Alpha Mart. Uh, was anytime Hawaiian, DJ Boba and Pizza, and D and R Mobility. Let's go inside. This is the Grand Legacy. It's interesting because the lobby entrance is on the side. You come in, this is the area we have all the different rooms in here. You can turn left and go in to see the lobby. I just came into the lobby right here at the Grand Legacy Park and I have to show you something. It smells amazing, but I have to show you something just amazing. Ready? Look at this water. Pineapple infused water. And what is it? The pineapple is shaped like Mickey's. Oh, I love that. Now I want to talk about this. This is the fifth bar. This is where they go that to, you take this elevator to get up the fifth. It is super popular on weekends to watch fireworks. And you need a reservation usually. It on Friday and Saturday night it's it's at capacity. And a lot of people go, so you can make reservations usually about two weeks out. Um, so just be aware of that it is a place that everybody wants to be on the evenings. Now this hotel might seem familiar to a few of you. I did a video a little while ago about the hotels, the best hotels to stay at if you have like a mobility issue, some type of disability, along the lines. And this is one of those hotels that qualified for that video. I think I showed five uh, hotels you stay at. I'll, put, I'll try to put a link up there so you can see that. But this hotel is very uh, accommodating to people maybe have a mobility issue or uh, some type of maybe like a disability. And so they have great rooms for that. So let's go check out these rooms here at this amazing hotel. First, I want to show you this pool area again. And I think if there's people swimming, I'm going to kind of just try to do some creative filming. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Let's walk right on in. Okay, so you can see this. It's got a great pool over here. They also have a splash pad right over here. You see this amazing splash pad for children. And like these pineapple, these pineapples, these little, little palm trees, they are leaking water as well. And you can see right now the palm trees are leaking or raining. I just like to say, 
keep calm and carry on. <laughs> I think you owe me a like for that amazing button. Keep calm and carry on. That's really good. I mean, come on. Here is the hot tub, which is nice when after the long day in the park, you guys, Advil and hot tub works miracles, wonders. There is a little tiny splash pad area here. It's fun for kids and adults to come in here and kind of cool off and just enjoy this nice area. Now I want to show something really cool about their pool. I want to show the entrance to the pool. Parents love this. It's a sloping entrance to the pool for little ones. So they can come down here, they can, the kids can splash around this area. Look at all these little beach balls in here. What is this? I love it, super fun. But it's a nice little area for kids to get into a pool. Getting in and out of the pool is very, very easy. And as, as a parent, you appreciate that. They've added a really cool feature here at the pool that at nighttime, water will shoot from one side of the pool to the other side of the pool to light up the water. And so a lot of people will come here in the evenings and they'll just sit there and watch this water shows and watch the fireworks. That's awesome. All right, so I think I'm gonna show you two different types of rooms here. First, I'm gonna show you the most economical. The, this, this is called the classic. This is like this is the, the, well, the lowest price point here of this particular hotel. They're, all these rooms are nice. Um, then I'll show you what their most popular room is. So it's more of a mid price point. I'm gonna show you both rooms, that way you guys have some different options. There is the Grand Legacy building, and that's where they have the big like, bar up on the, on the fifth floor. They call it the fifth because it's on the fifth floor. You pan across over here, you're gonna see the swimming pool. Nice giant hedge around it for privacy, makes it very nice. And then it goes around here, you see all these different rooms over here. Really cool, parking area, pop, 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 pop. Let's check out this room here. This is the like the most affordable room. As you can see, it's really awesome. It's really not a lot of frills, but it has everything you need, right? Nice little bed there, perfect little area there, a little end table, another bed. Oh, I love that chair right over there, that's super awesome. Then you have your little breakfast nook right over here, which is nice. And then you got your fridge, your microwave, TV, whatever you need to do if you guys watch the TV. And then I think this, what, what do we call this? Is it armoire? Is that what they call that? When the, when the closet is like right there, you just open it up and boom, pal, there is your closet. You got all the amenities inside your closet. You'll notice right around this corner, you've got a little area here. This is actually very nice for if you have a stroller. You just pop that up, the strollers go in there really easy. So it's a nice little area for strollers, but you can put your suitcases there as well. Right over here, let's take a look at the bathroom. Boom, pal, I don't know if you guys ever use that. Some people do, some people don't, whatever. And then you got a nice little sink here. Teeny tiny little area here. You see it's not a big long area, but it's not bad. It's really nice bended bar and you are good to go, guys. Love this. So this room here is their most uh, economical. It's just called their standard or a classic. I'm gonna shut the door and head down to the next one. I don't want people just walking in. So let's head to the next one. This next room I'm gonna show you is their most popular room. It's the, it's the room that people generally like to book the most. It's a little bit uh, higher of a price point. Again though, best way to book this is just call 1-855-GETAWAY, 1-855-GETAWAY. Tell them Provost Park, be sure, this is important. Be sure to tell them Provost Park passed at you. Because then um, we work with them to try to get you the very best rates we can get you, and you'll get the best rates they can on these hotel rooms and also on your tickets, which is awesome. And or if you want, if you prefer, you can get more comfortable. You don't want to talk on the phone. That's fine. Some people don't want to. You just click the link down below, and that'll get you that rate as if you told them Pearl's Park Pass sent you. Okay, let's go check out the next room. All right, so let's check this out. This here is what this is uh, maybe a little bit of a step up here. Now, one of the nice things about this room that you might not know is that you can ask for a rollaway bed or a crib or both, and they'll provide them complimentary to you. And so this little area here, you can have a little crib here. So if you have a, like a larger family, it makes it very nice. I love having have a mirror there. I love the purple wall. You'll notice it's a lo lot wider. It's a lot wider area here. So you could put like a little crib in that area and still have a walkway, you put the roll away there, have that area. So I mean, you can really sleep five people here and then six with it's a baby. Right over there, we got your armoire. I'm pretty sure that's what they call that, guys. You got your fridge, microwave, all your amenities. And we're gonna walk right over here, up, high, 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 and take a look, oh, look at that, I like that. You'll notice right here, oh, wait a minute, what's going on here? This is not acceptable, we need lights on. Okay, so there you go, the lights on right there, there you see, this is two sinks, you'll notice that it's a two sink, um, yeah, two sinks right there, so very nice, very good area. And then you move right over here, bended bar, bended bar, and then there's that, and nice little shower area, very nice. 
This is their most popular offering because you can have like a little bit of a larger family, you can stay here, it's nice. Having the complimentary, um, the complimentary uh, roll away bed and a complimentary um, crib, that's unusual for this area here. So that's really cool that they have that. So yeah, here we are, the Grand Legacy of the Park, it's awesome. All right, I'm gonna go out here and close the door. Don't want uh, anybody walking around. It's, man, it is, the sun is like blasting like right in my face, guys. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna keep walking. All right, I got two more hotels I wanna show you. Let's do this. The next video I show you is the Courtyard uh, by Marriott. It's right here. It's the Courtyard Anaheim. It's amazing. In fact, I'm gonna do a full video just on this one particular uh, hotel. It is awesome. Very close and amazing. A lot of really cool facilities here. Now, this hotel might look familiar because I did a video of the top five hotels to go if you have a mobility or disability issue. And this hotel qualified for that. We went, did a whole tour showing those amazing rooms here. So some of this might be a little bit redundant, but this hotel is so close to the park. And this is yeah, some, such amazing amenities. You have to show it again. This hotel is perfect if you've got little kids who love water. Water, 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 water. Before we get that, I just want to show, they have like a little bistro, breakfast, lunch, dinner. They have a, right over here, they actually have a little bistro area. They're making drinks and this is a great area for the breakfast, so come right on down here. I just learned something new. I've stayed in this hotel multiple times and they're like, did you know that there's a secret area where you can see the fireworks? So let's check it out. There's a little side porch and you come out and you can sit right out here and she, they said that you can see the fireworks. There are trees, they said they usually go right above the trees and you can watch the fireworks here. So a nice little uh, secret area to watch fireworks. This is where they serve breakfast, they have a nice little breakfast area here. Those sliding doors open up, that's where they have their buffet, their breakfast buffet. It is awesome. This place smells amazing. All right, so now I'm gonna go show you, this hotel has one of the very best pool and splash pad areas you ever go to. It is, I mean, when I say phenomenal, I mean phenomenal. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take you to the pool area. A couple things to think about this pool. It's one, you have to have reservations. They do that because it's so popular, so a lot of people try it, they first open it, People that weren't staying in the hotel or trying to get in, so you do have to have a reservation. You can make a reservation up to 30 days in advance, or when you check in, it's gonna let them know. They take two different breaks during the day on this pool. From 11 to noon, they close it and reset everything. And again, from six to seven, they close it and reset everything. And make sure everything's going. It is very popular. Let me show it to you. There it is, guys. There's the Surfside Water Park. Here we go. Thank you so much. They're opening up. Now, again, I have to be careful with filming because I don't want to uh, intrude. But this is amazing. They have little splash pads areas over there, little kids areas over there. That bucket fills with water. They also have water slides. And I don't know how to film this, but behind me they have hot tubs and lap pools right over there. So very extensive, very fun area to come in and check out the pool area. Kids are gonna love this. Oh, this is a big bucket just uh, tipped out. Really fun area. I mean, this is like a vacation from your vacation. Where you're taking a vacation, you come here, take a vacation from the vacation, and then you're vacationing. All right, so I'm gonna go and check out this room tour, but one thing I wanna point out about this amazing hotel, the doors are indoors, we are inside here. You'll notice that the hallway is very wide. You can have two mobility scooters past each other, you have two wheelchairs past each other, two stores past each other, with no impediment. Very, very, very cool. So let's go check out this room. This place is amazing. All right, so we're gonna check out this amazing, this is this is awesome, guys. I have stayed here. I'm gonna be staying here again, actually, with Amanda and Miles. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a whole new video just showing this amazing experience. So first, we wanna check out the bathroom. What do you got there? Nice bended bar, little, nice area there. And you'll notice it's like deep over there, so you have plenty of room, right? Plenty of room. Two sinks, you got two sinks right there. Absolutely wonderful. You have a lighted mirror. <laughs> then if you open up this, what do you have? Yes, there you go, a shower. Uh, this is like the glass shower. So, you get your children, you can soak them up and take a little bath. This is where you come in here, you can relax and it's nice shower. Then you also have this right in here. Amazing, this is absolutely amazing. Okay, now, you keep walking over here, I'm gonna turn turn left, you will see this is a closet area right here. You'll see this amazing closet, plenty of room right here. Now, if you happen to have the strollers or suitcases, look, they have a little nook right here. There's a mirror right there, that's a perfect area for your strollers, or whatever you want, to, suitcases, whatever you want to line up right there. Coming along right here, you can open this up, check this out, there's so much stuff in here, it's insane. There's your microwave, there's your uh, kitchen, and uh, your refrigerator, and then down below you have everything that you absolutely need. Look at this room, it is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous! Look at that, you got the uh, ocean, you've got the TV. Uh, I hear the TV, it caught my attention, it's not doing you got the bed right over here. You got another bed. This little breakfast nook is amazing. Sit down here, have a little breakfast nook over here, and then, boom, 
pow. What do you see right over here in this part of the room? Bunk beds. So fun. Kids love these. Kids can sleep there in these bunk beds. So you can actually have up to six people in this room. How cool is that? It is amazing. It's wonderful. It's awesome. And then if you look out here, you can see a nice little view. This room has a view of the, uh, the splash area. And you see Space Mountain right over there. Very, very cool. All right, guys, let's check out the last video here. This is the Fairfield Inn Marriott. Again, it's very close to Disneyland. Like, like how close? Like right behind those, that wall right there, that is Disneyland. Very nice, very, very cool, very clean. Let's go in and check it out. I have a really good memory here. I stayed here one time on my birthday. Um, and that day, my friends and family took me to see the Padres play the Dodgers. And the Dodgers ended up beating the Padres 10 to one on my birthday. We went up to LA, came back here. So yeah, and that's not a good memory, but it, it really kind of is though. Something I want to show real quickly over here is when you come over here, if you come to the Fairfield Inn, be sure to check these photos. These are original photos. Uh, these are their photos. It's almost like a little museum. You can see the history. Of, there you see them building the castle. You can see the main street, they're building the main street. You can see all this as well. These are their original photos that they have on display here. All right, let's go check out this room. I am, I, this, I, this has been a lot of walking. I've gone up and down the, the heart, this boulevard here, trying to get these hotels. Um, so I'm a little bit tired and I don't want that to reflect like this. Uh, these hotels aren't amazing. Every one of these hotels is awesome. They're all very close to the park. I mean, if you want, if you're looking for the easiest parks, the closest parks to come back and take naps or whatever it is you're looking for, these are them. You can't get any closer than this. All right, let's go show you this room. So let's check this out here. Here we are at the Fairfield. This is awesome. This, this is, now keep in mind, this could be just your one room right here. This is your one room. You got a nice little bed there. This is a little couch. You can kind of pull out whatever you want, but boom, what? Yeah, you, if you want, you can do this as a, like a joint room. See how it's got the joint room there. Now, of course, this could be your room if you don't, if you don't, if you want, if you don't want the, if you don't want this little couch, you could have this. So let's, we're gonna look at both of these rooms, but you can get them connected. You got your TV there, you've got your desk, credenza, like love that. And then right over here, your ironing board. This is your um, closet. I like it, it's actually very open. And right over here, you got your coffee maker and all that. And right down here, you've got your fridge. Perfect. Over here, you've got your sink, it's a single sink with soap. Then over there, bended bar. I really like that, I really like bended bars. And then uh, you've got your shower head up there, which is really nice for if you're tall. I love that. That yeah, helps out a lot. So there you go. And I don't even know what that is. Then we're going to turn, or look over here, back at this room. I'm going to turn. So this key, you could just have, you could just get this room for one night if you want. Or if you want it, you could ask for the combined room if you want to do that. This is here, this is like the king room. Okay. So like very similar, right over there. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And then over here. And I, can, I want to show you something that's kind of cool though. You see this? So that way there can be a little bit of privacy. So if somebody is in there, like maybe getting ready early in the morning, you could just close that door so that way the person that can keep sleeping on the bed if they want to. And this door also shuts. So you have multiple areas of privacy. Whew, guys, I am sweating. I am hot. I have walked up and down this whole boulevard. I think that this is awesome because people have been requesting like, Chris, can you please show us the closest uh, hotels to Disneyland? And these are them. You gotta make sure that's locked up. These are the closest you can get. You can't get any closer than that. Seriously, hit that subscribe button. That's just a way of saying thank you. I'm, I'm, like, I'm a little tired, guys. We did a lot today. We did a lot. Um, so thanks, I wanna thank Getaway Today for helping me. Uh, uh, be able to meet with these hotels. I would like to thank the hotels actually for allowing me to come and do these tours so I can show you guys these things. And what you guys can do is click the link down below and when you call Getaway Today, you can tell them which hotel you want. They will price it out for you. Make sure you tell them Pearl's Park Pass uh, sent you to get the best prices that you can absolutely get on these amazing hotels. And they are just like that close to uh, Disneyland. All right guys, I'll see you later with some other new videos here about Disney, Disneyland, Disney Secrets Revealed, all that stuff. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.